So, I figured we'd start off 2019 talking about MLB rivalries because, of course, every team has one. I'm going to be taking a look at, according to this website, No Rivalry, what each fan that takes their survey says is their biggest rival. And uh, I already looked through this yesterday. I'm just recording this a second time because yesterday it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. So, I'm just going to try it and hopefully it'll work out better this time. So, let's get to it. So how about we start off with the defending champion Boston Red Sox, no question about the top one, yes, the Yankees, and the Rays, of course, and second, I guess, because of, like, 2009, as, or 2008, actually, 2008 ALCS, that went to seven games, and they also faced each other in the 2013 ALDS, so makes sense why they're second on the list. Orioles and Blue Jays, both distant, but they hate the Red Sox, so... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many people would classify as hate, but I mean, I only hate like two teams in Major League Baseball. I, I'm an ace fan, by the way, just, you know, green and gold all day. But we'll take a look at their biggest rival, the Yankees. Again, no question about who's on the top of the list. And the Blue Jays are second, so that's a bit interesting. Um, I, I can't say that I remember or I, that I know off the top of my head why this is the case, other than the fact that they play in the AL East. But uh, if any Yankee fans want to let me know, sure. Mets are distant, or you know why this, or if they think they got it wrong or whatever. But the Mets are semi-distant, close, kind of like A's Giants sort of thing. But then the Orioles are a bit distant, same with the Rays. But of course, there are plenty of teams in Major League Baseball that hate the Yankees the most. So, <laughs> I mean, and there's that. But I guess this is a, seg or a segment to go to the Blue Jays. So the Yankees and Red Sox, two most hated teams in the AL East by the other AL East teams, fan bases, by far. Although, I mean, I say, well, yes, I mean, they hate the Yankees more than the Red Sox. But, I mean, the Red Sox, before, from what it seems like, before 2004, or actually, really, before they started piling on championships after 2004, people didn't mind the Red Sox. They actually liked them because they were an underdog and they beat the Yankees. They reverse swept them. So, I mean, they were a likable team back in those days, I guess. It, uh, this is just what I see. I mean, I was only, like, three in, <laughs> and at the time, so I can't really say that I was experiencing it, but that's what it seems like was the case from what I've seen. So, I mean, the Red Sox battling on those championships, Boston sports, and their fan base is becoming a bunch of arrogant pricks. But hey, I mean, not every Red Sox fan is like that. You know who you are if you're the good ones, but the rest of you, ugh. And the Orioles are third. Very interesting, but the only team that has hate for them is the Yankees. Can't say that I know why this is the case for this, and I'm honestly surprised that the Rangers aren't on here. But I mean, I guess the Ranger or Ranger fans would have more hate for them than vice versa. So go to the Orioles, and what do you know? Yankees, Red Sox. <laughs> Yankees, Red Sox. The only team that has strong hate for them is the Jays, or at least you know, in terms of reverse rival points, at least ten. Or I, I actually saw like 9.99 .99 is one of them for considered as top rival points or you know being a top rival main rival and then that's around here I guess because of the whole Maryland thing and then the Jays are a bit on here and hmm, they hate us for some reason <laughs> I wonder why that's the case but the Royals are here and the Rays so um, I mean AL East and the Nats, pretty much, for the Orioles, but mainly Yankees and Red Sox, which is no surprises there. So let's take a look at the Rays. Yep, Red Sox, Yankees. But Rays fans hate the Red Sox more than the Yankees, apparently. Which, I can see that, but, I mean, eh. I don't know. I, I don't root for either team. I don't hate either team. I just don't root for them because of their fan base, or because of their fan bases. I don't really have a reason to classify them as a rival. They didn't really, they haven't really, I haven't really seen the A's lose to them in the playoff series, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there's that. Uh, Rays fans, Orioles, and Marlins are distant. I mean, I guess because of Warrior, but, 
but I mean, the Marlins are a big joke. The Ra ah, yes, the Rangers did beat them a couple of times in the playoffs. And I guess the Phillies too because of 2008. And from what I've seen from, and this isn't every Florida fan, but some Florida fans, they tend to hold grudges for a while, at least because their teams don't win championships per se, because like, I don't know, it just seems like they hold grudges, which I'm not saying they're in the wrong for that, it's just, eventually I get over it. Like, I don't hate the Tigers as much as I used to, I just don't like them, is the thing. So, um, go to a different division. Let's go to the AL West, take a look at the Texas Rangers, and yep, Angels at the top of the list, not much of a question there, and yeah, they definitely they do hate us, <laughs> and the Astros are here. This actually makes sense, because from what I see, Astro fans hate the Rangers more than Ranger fans hate the Astros, and then the Mariners are on here, but distant, because, well, AL West, apparently, the Yankees, because... They beat them a couple of times in the late 90s and early 2000s, of course, before they signed A-Rod to that terrible contract. That ridiculous contract, I should say, because A-Rod performed well, but they couldn't sign anybody else, apparently. Well, I mean, they threw money at John Chan Hill Park, too, but, <laughs> I mean, the early 2000s Rangers, nah. Cardinals, 2011, that was greatness. And the Giants, probably because of 2010. The Orioles, I can't say that I... Ah, oh, the wild card game. Yeah, okay. I can't say that I know why the Tigers are on here. For some. But we'll take a look at the Angels. Ah, Fairweather fans that don't really have much of a feeling towards baseball didn't vote or take the survey. Hmm, not much of a surprise. I was just, I wasn't taking a shot at everybody, just, you know, those that don't know baseball and that, like they know baseball, that's really Angel fans quality ones, always saying, Lewis play rule of baseball, huh, that's why your team sucks, Giants fans do the same thing, so, I mean, those are just mindless fans, you know, two of the best fan bases in baseball, right there, but we'll take a look at my favorite team. The East Oakland Athletics, and yes, not much of a surprise. I'm actually kind of surprised that the Giants don't top the list over the Angels because, but it's pretty close. Because if you ask any Ace fan, they hate either the Giants or the Angels. Like for me, for me, the only teams I hate are the Angels and Rangers. Like that's just, and that's mainly because they play in the AL West. The Giants don't play in the AL West. I only hate them for like four to six games of the year because that's when the Bay Bridge series happens. And, you know, I grew up around a bunch of Giants fans, so I don't really have much hate for them. I do understand why AS fans do, because their fan base is one of the worst in baseball, which is why I don't really root for them. Like, I wasn't strongly against them before their fan base became one of the worst fan bases in baseball. And uh, also, SF Media tries to push Oakland as the little brother, which, I mean, I understand, but it's just... Some of it is just, some Ace fans just make a big deal out of it and become Dodger fans just so that they can root against the Giants or, you know, see the song from Giants fans, which, I mean, they just use the fact that they hate the Giants as an excuse to work, to root for a team that's even worse. And uh, we'll get to that later on, but yeah, not many surprises here. And like I said, I don't hate the Tigers as much as I used to. The Mariners, they're just laughable. If they start winning, then, or you know, if they start repeatedly beating us, then I'll probably get more hate for them. But for the most part, not much against the Mariners. I just like to laugh at them. <laughs> and the Yankees, because they're the Yankees, and the Astros is kind of a budding thing. And now for the Mariners, and the Angels are at the top. I'm actually kind of surprised that it wasn't us, but I guess it's just, I guess we just land on here because of, I mean, 2014, 2016, and last year, this past year, Rangers are on here, because AOS, I mean, I think, these are the three teams, I think, that give them the most trouble, or, you know, some, I mean, the Mariners were in the AOS, this is, these were the original teams, the AOS, that always beat them, I guess, and the Yankees, I mean, because of the Yankees, <laughs> Astros, kind of small there, Indians, also kind of small, I guess these two play each other every year for interleague play. I can't say that I know that for sure. And the Blue Jays are on here for some reason. That's interesting. And uh, now we go to the Astros, the final team in the AL West. Rangers, yes, by far. <laughs> and the Cardinals. Okay. 
So, uh, so I'm a bit so happy for the Cardinals because of when they were in the National League. And the, I mean, lingering hate for the Angels and A's and the Mariners just because it's sort of growing on them for, for being in the AL West f since 2013. The Cubs and Braves, I guess, because they were in the National League and Central, and also I think the Braves beat them in the playoffs one time. But yes, this was a rivalry, Cardinals and Astros. So, uh, don't really have an opening to the end to the AL Central, so let's go to the NL Central with the St. Louis Cardinals. And yes, no questions here that the Cubs are at the top on both their main rivals and who their main rivals of. The Reds are on here. I can't say that I know the reason why, other than the fact that they play in the NL Central. The Dodgers are on here. I think the Dodgers should beat them. Or, you know, they beat the Dodgers. They, they played the Dodgers a few times in the playoffs, I think, so... That, that might cause that to be a bit of a rivalry right there. The Pirates in El Central. Again, can't say I know the other reason why that would be the case. And yes, the Giants have beaten them a few times. And looks like a bunch of random teams on here. I mean, the Brewers make sense. but And the Royals kind of make some sort of sense too. But otherwise, it looks like a bunch of random teams. I mean, I guess this is probably because they took Albert Pujols. But... I mean, that contract is terrible, so I don't know why they would have a grudge over that now. We'll take a look at the Cubs, and no questions here. The White Sox are on here, I guess because of the Chicago thing. Kind of like A's, Giants, Yankees, Mets, um, Dodgers, and Angels, but a little bit less, I guess, well, um, let me see, what am I saying? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit more, I should say. It's a little bit more intense between the Cubs and White Sox than us. Well, at least based on this, this is more of a rivalry than Giants, A's, and Yankees, and Mets, than the Brewers. I would actually, I actually kind of expected the Brewers to be a little bit higher because I see the Brewers in top three most hated teams list of Cubs fans. I've seen that a few times. So, a bit surprised that they don't, they aren't considered a main rival to their fan base. But I mean, yes, Brewer fans definitely despise the Cubs, <laughs> Reds, Pirates, and El Central. And I can't say that I know the reason why for this, but that'll get me to go to the Milwaukee Brewers, my local team. And uh, wow, actually, I kind of was surprised when I saw this. Because I expected the Cubs to be at the top of the list, but I mean, I guess the Cardinals and Brewers have faced each other more often, or you know, in more significant events. But uh, I mean, Wisconsin's a nice. They just usually they hate all things Chicago, so <laughs> I mean, that's where their hate for the Cubs, Cubs comes from. But otherwise, outside of the and all Central, it doesn't look like they have much hate. Although I mean. They could grow on it with the Dodgers, I mean, we'll see, but looks like they don't have much hate outside of the NL Central. So we'll take a look at the Pirates here. Wow. Well, I guess, I guess because of, um, I guess because usually, I mean, the Penguins can attest to this as well, but for the most part, fans don't really show up unless they're winning in Pittsburgh. The Steelers haven't had to endure that because they've actually won and they haven't really had a period where they are just terrible. The Pirates have had that sort of period and uh, I mean the Penguins they had that but it wasn't as long as the Pirates and plus they've won championships in recent years so there's that. And then we have the Reds here, the last team in the NL Central. And the Cardinals are at the top of the list. The Pirates are there, and the Cubs are there. The Indians are also there. They do play for a cup, I think. The Reds and Indians, like some something for the Battle of Ohio. The Brewers are sort of lingering. And the Giants, I guess, because of 2012. 